This is a level generated by Mario GPT, a very powerful real-time level generator that generates levels from text. Wow! But I want to take it a step further with real-time Python training. Unity plus Python, baby! Because if you've ever scrolled through TikTok, you know how hard it can be to actually stop scrolling. And that's exactly what I want to achieve with my game. To generate levels like this, this, and this using the player's gameplay data. So here's the plan. We first create the levels using constraint object positions, make these levels playable, collect player data from those levels, and train a model to create more levels. So let's get some nice free assets from the Unity store because I have no talent, slap our player on there, and add the other elements of the game as well. And because Unity can use prefabs, we can simply write a script to use these and the stuff that makes up the ground again and again to build different levels. Game dev is easy. Or is it? A few moments later. Why are we still here? Well, that's a little better, but... One eternity later. All right, so now we can generate some levels that can actually be played and keep generating new levels just like this. Nice. That wasn't hard at all. Because our level generator has no idea about how the player moves, it'll generate some unplayable levels. So what's the solution? The A-star pathfinder, which basically works by evaluating every point between a starting and an end point and giving them a score based on the distance from the start and the distance to the goal. The end goal is to find the shortest path using these values. So let's see if this works. But what if we don't really have any paths for the player to complete the level? We just connect the start and end points and reposition or delete any obstacles so that our level has at least one path that guarantees that the level will be completed. Now let's AI it up! And as opposed to my previous videos where I use CNNs for classifying my best and worst moves or when I trained an AI to fence, this time we will be using random forest classification instead mostly because it handles tabular data much more easily. If I have some gameplay data for various levels such as tile map sizes, the level size, the number of collectibles and traps, and the average distance between the objects, and I want to classify which of these values led to what kind of difficulties, then I can make multiple smaller classifiers using a smaller set of features. For example, one classifier could be using the average distance between the objects and the total number of objects to classify which levels are of what difficulty. Another one could be using the tile map sizes and the number of collectibles to predict the same and so on. And from using multiple smaller classifiers, we can usually get a much better model than we would have gotten otherwise. Then. We use a Python script to generate values for random levels and use this model of the different trees to actually see which levels are playable of a given difficulty and present that to our player. Also, we can set multiple themes for the game and cycle through tile maps, platforms, backgrounds and music for each theme so that the levels have a progressive feel. Now that the development is complete, let's evaluate its performance. So when the player first starts the game, they should be given a very small and simple level that they should be able to complete in one try. <coughs> I said in one try. On completion, the generated levels should get increasingly more difficult with the player requiring multiple attempts to complete the levels. If the number of attempts is more than a predefined number, which is 3 in my case, we will start training the model to use the current gameplay data to create more levels of a suitable difficulty. So let's get it! No, no, no.
my god, did you see that? The smaller enemy pushed the larger enemy off the tile map, hence changing the trajectory of the projectile. This wasn't planned at all. So close. Because we were struggling a bit in the previous levels, we have our first AI-generated level. Can't get me, I'm used to it. Or am I? Fifty, and there you go. Don't forget that the game is available on GitHub. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and as always, I will see you next time.